Guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over the basic concept of storm circles in box fight maps. This is a nice little pre-game lobby I created for my box fight map, which I really like. Um, I can go ahead and do a more advanced tutorial on pre-game lobbies as well, because I think pre-game lobbies are pretty cool. Like you see here, they are sexy and you can do a lot of fun things with them. So we'll do that in another video. Guys, before we get started, I want you to go ahead and check out Prism Box Fight. This is a box fight map that I created based on the tutorial we're about to do now. It's pretty sick, I want you to check it out. It's going to give you an idea of how I set this box fight up. Also, make sure to check out the box fight tutorial playlist that's located right now on the top right of the screen. You can also find it in the link in the description below. It's gonna teach you everything you need to know about making a box fight map. As you can see here, there's nothing pretty about a box fight map from the outside, unlike the Zone Wars maps that I've created in the past. Since it's a box fight, it's all about the beauty on the inside of the box here. Make sure you check out the tutorial where I show you how to make this exact map. Now, let's go ahead and dive into creating that storm. That's why you're here today. Now, you can build and put a storm right there in the dead center of your map, in your box fight map. If you have a room below or above, you want to keep it out of the way. That's what I would suggest. Put it below or above, above the box fight. If you didn't have a below area, just put it above. In this case, I made a below area. So we're gonna go into our devices and grab a basic storm controller, guys. That's the most important thing. So go ahead and grab that basic storm controller. Once you've selected it, you're gonna see on the uh, left side here, it says grid snap. We wanna set grid snap to eight. And the reason for that is we wanna get this as dead center as possible. So you see me creating copies of this basic controller. What I'm trying to do here is get it dead center. So I'm gonna possibly you know, make a couple copies and delete it a couple times. As you can see, as I rota rotate around here, that's not dead center, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and put it just one more space left there, and then I'm gonna rotate around again and see if it's dead center. And it does look like it is now, which is great. You can double check your work, see how it's dead center. It's five squares in that way. And since there's four squares, it's between the four, the two squares on each side. So it is dead center. That's exactly what we want because we want our storm to close dead center in that box fight. Let's go to all options and just go down here and make sure everything is set properly. So generate storm on game start. You can say yes or no, that's up to you. I did yes. Initial radius 30 because that's the size of my map. You're gonna wanna play around with that. Wait time, I'm gonna set to one minute. Resize time, I'm gonna leave it at one minute. Now that's two minutes of gameplay before the storm closes in. That's, that's basically it guys, that's all you have to do. Literally that's how easy this tutorial is. So. Now you have a two minute buffer before the game is forced to end. That might be too long for you guys. Like two minutes is a really long time in box fight world. As you'll see, like I'm not gonna let this play for two minutes, but it gets pretty exhausting pretty quick. So let's go ahead and skip forward and see what other options we can do here. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the storm controller and I'm just gonna shorten it because one minute wait time and one minute resize time was a little much. So I'm gonna go to 30 and 30. And what I've noticed is one minute complete for a box fight map may be a little fast, but it was good for the speed of what I was looking for. Guys, go ahead and just play around with those two settings. What do you want your wait time to be? What do you want your storm resize time to be? And actually play around with that radius as well because your box fight map might be larger than this, it might be smaller than this, but you wanna make sure that people are having a good experience and that storm circle is not ruining their day. Uh, you'll see here how quickly it's closing in here. Uh, it hasn't started yet, but we'll cut ahead here. And you can see it is closing in now, it's looking beautiful, it's dead center in my box fight map, which I already pre-created, and it just looks nice. It's ready to go, 10 tick on that baby, so you can see my health is going down quick. We better end that game soon because somebody's about to lose and it's going to be me. <laughs> Guys, that pretty much sums up this video. It was a quick one today. I just wanted to show you the basics of creating a storm in your box fight maps. I've been asked how to do this a lot and I wanted to show it off. You can also check out this box fight map once again with that code. I'll put it in the description below. If you like my videos, please also go ahead and support me by liking and subscribing. It helps me out so much. I'm so grateful for all of you guys. 
Thank you so much for being here for yet another great video. More to come.